Hey yogis, welcome and thank you all so much for tuning in to Tina Diana Yoga. Today I have a quick QL stretch for you and this video is a request from my friend Jack. So for those of you that don't know, the QL muscles stands for quadratus lumborum. So they are muscles that live sort of um, deep within our waist on either side of the lumbar spine. So these muscles can easily get contracted or stressed if we're sitting for most of our day. So any sort of lateral side bending is such great medicine for really stretching out these muscles um, in the side waist and also easing up any tension in our low back area. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're gonna start actually seated. So come to seated, top of your mat, and then come into a Sukhasana cross ankled pose and bring your left ankle in front of your right ankle. And then we're gonna relax it out a little bit. So this is actually a yin pose we're starting with. So bring your heels forward in Sukhasana, let your legs just sort of be loose, and then walk your feet to either side of your yoga mat there. So your feet are walking towards the edges there of your mat. So you're sort of making um, almost like a loose ankle to knee posture here. And then breathe in to reach your arms up high. And then exhale, keep your sit bones planted as you tense your fingertips in front of you. Walk your fingertips forward. And take a moment there to draw the chin into the chest, get nice and long through the back of the neck. And then walk over to the left with your fingertips, but again, keep your seat planted, anchored there through the right outer hip. And then walk your tented fingertips over to the right. Land in your breath if you haven't done so already rooted through the left outer hip and the left sit bone. And then tense your fingertips through center. See if you can walk them out. So keeping your seat planted, but stretching your heart forward out of your hips. Let your ears fall in line with your arms. Let's take five cycles of breath here together, in and out through the nose. Slight whisper back of the throat. bottom of the breath out, walk your fingertips back. Then you're gonna stretch your left leg out to the left. So the sole of the right foot meets your left inner thigh. And then bring your left arm inside your left leg and stretch your right arm over your right ear. So you can be on your left forearm there with the left palm face up, or you can keep your left arm long. But just stay rooted through that right sit bone, land your right outer hip down as you reach with your right fingertips. You're getting a nice big opening through the right side of your waist there. See if you can lean back into your right shoulder blade a little bit, breathe deep. Soften the face and the jaw. Then your next breath in, you're gonna circle the right palm behind your back, lift up on your right shin, turn your left toes down, and then reach your left arm long by your left ears. This is a little stargazer shape. And then circle your left arm a little bit. It's just working into the shoulders, right? Mostly side body action here, but sprinkle in some other things as well. And then breathe in, bring your left arm long by your left ear, draw your hips forward and your ribs in. 
and then breathe out, drop your seat again, come back, left forearm and side, left leg, right arm by the right ear for a little Janu side bend. And then let's dance with this a little bit. Inhale, come into your stargazer shape. On the exhale, your left arm can circle in front of your face as it drops down inside the left leg and reach with the right arm. Inhale, stargaze. Exhale, Janu side bend. Let's do one more. Inhale, stargaze. Exhale. Janu side bend, inhale stargazer, and then exhale, drop your seat down. Come into Sukhasana, this time with the right ankle in front of the left. Slide your ankles forward, and then walk your feet out towards the opposite edges of your mat. Inhale, reach your arms up, get really long. And then exhale, hinge at your hips, tense your fingertips in front of you. Let the back of the neck get long and then move your tented fingertips over to the right, just exploring the sensations. How does this feel in your body? And then walk your tented fingertips over to the left. Just noticing and meeting the sensations with your breath. Come back to center. You can tense your fingertips, perhaps a little bit more in front of you. Stretch your heart out of your hips and then ears fall in line with your arms. Five cycles of ujjayi breath. the bottom of that fifth cycle slowly walk your fingertips back this time it's your right leg that reaches out to the right long sole the left foot in your right inner thigh bring your right arm inside your right leg and then reach your left arm long stay planted there through your left sit bone lean back into your left shoulder blade and then find that reach, but soften the shoulder heads down away from the ears. Mm, feels so good. All right, on your next breath in, left palm lands behind you, rise up on your left shin. Stargazer, roll out your right shoulder, making those big circles with your right arm. Stay really lifted, hip points reaching up. And then inhale, right arm long by right ear. On the exhale, you can circle the right arm in front of the face as you come back into that Janu side bend, breathing out. And then inhale, come back into Stargazer. Look up. Exhale, back into your side bends. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach up, lift yourself up, and then exhale, drop your seat down, cross your ankles, bring your palms wide, and then bring your feet behind you and your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Just peek forward, make sure that your palms are for real spread wide. And then you're really rooting down through all of your finger pads and your index fingers are facing directly towards the top of your mat. And you can dance it out a little bit here, especially if it's your first down dog of the day. Lift one heel, lift the other, bend one knee, bend the other. Wiggle the hips side to side. 
and then really press your hands into the ground, pull your hips up and back, get really long here through the side waist and the side of the rib cage. Now that might mean bending your knees, right? That's okay. Once you get the extension there through the upper half of the body, you can play with anchoring the heels down and lengthening through the legs while maintaining the integrity and the openness in the upper body. Inhale to lift your heels high. Exhale, shift your heels to the right and then play with dropping them down towards the ground. See if you can even out the upper body, the shoulders, and breathe into your left outer hip there, left side of the waist, three cycles. Breathe in, lift your heels high through center. Breathe out, drop them over to the left and down towards the ground. Even the shoulders, three cycles of breath. Breathe in to lift your heels high through center and then breathe out, anchor your heels straight down. Inhale, lift your heels, travel forward, shoulders over wrists, plank pose. Once you get there, reach your heels back again. Reach forward through the crown of the head, lift your thighs and your belly. And then breathe out, drop your knees to the ground, sit back towards your heels, child's pose. Inhale to rise up all fours. Make sure your left knee's right under your left hip and then lengthen your right leg long here for a moment. You can rock it forward and back, maybe some circles. And then come to center, inhale, lift your right leg up. See if you can point your right toes and then see if you can lift your heart in your gaze as well. So it's a little arch. And then play with bringing your right leg over towards the back left side of your mat and then even beyond it. And then begin to hinge here your left sit bone towards your left heel. Slide the top of your right foot at a diagonal. And then you might widen your left arm out to the left a tad. Feel this in the right side of the waist. And just one more moment. Next breath in, gently come back, left palm back where it was. You're gonna reach your right foot out to the right and plant your right heel in line with your left knee. It's sort of like a half straddle fold here. And then walk your hands back, bring your hands onto your hips and rise up. From here we'll move into gate pose. So beginning to slide your right hand down your right leg towards the ankle, and then reaching the left arm up over the left ear. See if you can lengthen your tailbone down and hug your ribs and your belly in towards your spine. Deep breathing. Soften the shoulders as much as you can. And then in your next breath in, you're gonna swivel. See if you can tense your left fingertips down to the left, keep your right heel rooted, and then stretch your right arm long by your right ear. So it's just taking that side bend on the other side. So if tenting the fingertips isn't working out here with your left hand, it can be a flat left palm. Anchor the tail down towards your right heel. And then you might even play with lifting your right leg up, finding that nice reach. And then you might bend your right knee Grab for the top of the right foot with the right hand. Stay connected to your center here as you press the foot into the hand, even allowing your head to hang back a touch. Breathe in to come back out long. And then breathe out, drop your right heel back down where it was. Circle your right arm in front of your face and then travel your hands back to the top of the mat. 
Tuck your left toes, lift your left knee. Inhale, sweep your right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Breathe out, knee to nose, nose to knee. Press the earth away. And then step the right foot between your palms. Soften your back knee down. You can point your back toes and then inhale, arms circle up for Anjaneyasana. See if you can press into the ground. Find that lift through the pelvic floor and the belly that holds you here. Invite a deep breath in. And then breathe out, take an open twist to the right. So it's your left arm forward, your right arm back. And then see if you can drop your right palm towards your left outer thigh. And then reach your left arm up and perhaps back. So it's like a twisted side bend here. Keep your right knee hugging in over your right ankle. Breathe out to drop your left palm down and your right palm up. Open up that left shoulder. And then you might tuck your left toes, lift your left knee for a little low lunge twist here. See if you can drop your right outer hip and lift the left, and then lean back into your right shoulder blade. And then check out, breathing in, right arm over right ear. See if you can reach forward with your right fingertips, but back through the right hip. And then breathe out, right palm to the ground. Step your left foot forward, feet hips width distance, let your head get heavy and fold. Take a moment here, flutter the lips, shake the head. And then tend to your, your left fingertips right under your nose. Put a little bend in your left knee. Inhale to reach your right arm up. This is a little twisted Uttanasana. And then just like we did, reach the right arm long over your ear. Breathe in. Breathe out, weave the right arm underneath the left, catch eagle arms, and just let yourself sway here again. Nice lengthening and stretch here for the lumbar spine. And then a little bend in your knees, inhale, rise up to stand with your eagle arms. See if you can lengthen the tail down and reach your fingertips up. And then on the breath out, bring your right knee bent behind the left, wing the arms by the sides. It's a little curtsy, a little bow. See if you can really crease at the knees and the hips and stretch your heart forward. And then from here, you're gonna lengthen and kick your right leg out to the left. So you're on the outer edge of your right foot there. Right leg is long. Sweep the arms in front of you and then overhead. Grab your right wrist with your left hand and then side bend over to the left. And then side swoop all the way down, palms to the ground. Step your right leg back behind you, low lunge. Look forward as you breathe in. Breathe out, plant the palms, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale to roll yourself forward, plank, get long, get strong. Exhale, drop your knees, child's pose. Inhale to rise up all fours. This time right knee right under right hip. Lengthen your left leg long, but keep the ball, the foot on the ground, rock it forward and back, circle it. And then inhale to lift your left leg up, point your left toes and see if you can press your palms into the ground, stretch your heart forward and up, look up. And then your left leg crosses over on a diagonal towards the back right side of your mat and beyond it. From here, you begin to drop your right sit bone towards your right heel. You might widen your right hand out to the right a tad. And then feel that open space in the left side of the waist. Come back on your next breath in. Right palm where it was, sweep your left foot out to the left. Left heel in line with right knee. Walk your hands back. Hands on hips, lift your torso. And then begin to slide your left palm down your left leg. Right arm reaches long over right ear, side bending. Draw the belly in. Soften the shoulders down. Breathe into the shape. 
Breathe into the moment. Your next breath in, swivel yourself, tenting your right fingertips over to the right. Keep your left heel on the ground to start. Draw your hips forward, lengthen out there through the left side. And then you can either stay right here or play with lifting your left leg up, really reaching through the heel. You might bend the knee, reach for the top of the foot with the hand, stay connected to the center in your breath as you press the foot into the hand. That helps you to arc open. And then get long again on the breath in. Breathe out, drop your left heel down where it was. Circle the left arm in front of your face. Bring your palms back to the top of the mat. Tuck your right toes, lift your right knee. Inhale, swing your left leg up and back for three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, nose to knee. Step the left foot between the palms. Drop your back knee, point the toes. Inhale, reach your arms up, Anjaneyasana. Find that press into the earth, the inner lift through your bandhas. Invite a deep breath in, look up. Breathe out, open twist, right arm forward, left arm back. And then left palm releases down towards your outer right thigh. Peel and open your left shoulder as you reach up and back through your right fingertips. Keep that inner lift going. And then swivel your right fingertips down, left arm up, open that right shoulder, draw the left knee into center, and then lean back into your left arm. Then you might tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, but really firm up that back leg. And then left arm long by left ear, really reach forward with the left fingertips as your left hip draws back. Breathe it in. And then breathe out, left palm down, right foot steps to the top of the mat, feet hips width, let your head go. Shake it out, flutter it out. <laughs> Tenting the right fingertips in the center of your mat there. Soft bend in your right knee, inhale, left arm up. And then left arm long over left ear. Breathe out, left arm weaves underneath the right. Eagle arms, take a moment there with your knees bent, a little sway side to side. So just using the weight of the arms to lengthen the spinal cord even more. Soft bend in the knees, inhale, rise all the way up to stand. Press down through the feet, reach up through the arms. And then exhale, your left leg bends behind the right. Wing the arms by the side, so both knees are bent. Your heart and your eyes are looking forward. And then you're going to skid that left leg out to the right, coming on the outer edge of the left foot. Circle the arms in front of you. Grab your left wrist along the way with your right hand. And then side bend to the right. Let's see if you can lift the heart. Oh, that feels so good. And then side bend all the way down. Left leg steps back, low lunge, breathe in, hearts forward. Breathe out, downward facing dog. Inhale to roll it forward, plank. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, rise up to all fours. You can drop your belly and look up. Exhale, tuck the toes, pull your hips up and back. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Bring your big toes to touch right here. Inhale, lift your heels high. Exhale, bend and widen your knees. Either step, hop, or float your feet to the top. Inhale for Ardha Uttanasana. Heart stretches forward, long spine. Exhale to mount. Inhale again, Ardha Uttanasana. Tent the fingertips in front of you. Now begin to bend the knees. Squeeze them into touch. Lift your heels. Keep bending the knees, keep dropping your sit bones down towards your heels without letting them sink into the heels. And then you might be able to levitate the arms up there or keep your fingertips on the ground. Catch a prayer right at your heart. You're in toe stand. You might reach your arms up for a moment. And then stay with me, you right reach, might land your right fingertips down to the right. Ooh, 
heavy your left hip down and side bend. And then switch it out, left fingertips to the left, right hip heavy, side bend. And then see if you can come to center one last moment. And then palms to the ground, drop your heels, drop your seat, come into a little boat pose moment. Hug your belly to your thighs, your thighs to your belly. You might lengthen your legs, but keep your heart lifted. Good, and then palms to the ground. Make sure you have enough room behind you to rock your feet back. Plow pose. And then use the support of your arms to slowly roll down to lying on your back. Hug your knees into your chest here. And then we're going to take our last posture. So right thigh crosses over the left. You can either cactus or tee your arms. Wiggle your hips a little bit over to the right. So you can press down through the left foot. Hips move to the right. Your knees move to the left. So you're right on the side of your left hip. Let your arms get heavy. You might look over towards your right arm or up towards the ceiling, whatever's best for your neck in this moment. Three cycles of breath right here. And then breathe in to come back to center, even out your sacrum. Uncross and then cross the left thigh over the right, sort of like our little curtsy we did. Press your right foot into the ground to swing your hips over to the left and then drop your knees over to the right. Make your little adjustments and then find some stillness here. Three cycles of breath. Travel back to center, even out the sacrum. Hug the knees. Maybe a little apanasana moment. Lift the head. Draw the third eye towards the knees. Squeeze into yourself. And then release the head down. You can either roll to one side and come to a seat. Or maybe you want to play with a few rocks and rolls. And cross the ankles, come to a seat. You're welcome to pause for a moment here and meditate if you have a meditation practice or find a few moments in Shavasana lying on your back. I'm going to sign off for now though. I hope you all enjoyed this quick QL side body love moment. Namaste.